Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and welcome to our series on React Native. Quite a long journey in React Native, but we are learning tons of things. And that too on YouTube. A subscribe is must at this point of time. Today in this video, we're going to be uh, learning one step further about our music service that we have incorporated. Not incorporated, but we have created actually. And uh, we're going to be working on installing this dependency, which is React Native Vector Icons, which will help us a little bit. Surely you can work out without them as well. You can just use some numbers or some text as well. But this is actually fun. This kind of uh, installation, we have done this many times, so it should be super, super easy. In the React Native, it's not just about copying this line, it's actually a little bit more configuration that we do mostly. So I'll just go back onto this and we'll just install this one. So let's go ahead and say npm install React Native vector icons, really small dependency. And once we are done with this, then obviously the next step we have to do is look for how we can set up the things. So here are steps for iOS. So all you have to do is just browse onto this one and then in update your info.plist. Similarly for Android as well with Gradle, all we have to do is go into Android app and build Gradle, not into Android Gradle and have to copy this thing. So let's just copy this. Make sure you copy the whole thing. Go back onto the code file and what we're going to do is go into Android inside the app and then we have build.gradle. You can close this one. And here at the very end, you'll find a lot of apply, not a lot, just one, but still we can just apply this. It will bring up the fonts and that's all. Sometimes you need to restart your app. That's OK. So let's go ahead and close this and close Android and let's move into source and into app.tsx. Now this time we are going to modify this a little bit. Uh, we're not going to too much. So first we're going to just remove all of this. Let me select from here to here, remove all of this. The only thing that we are going to do is just have a container and inside this container we are going to add one property which is flex one so that it takes the entire portion of the you know how the flex works entire portion is one so it will take this one all right now there is a lot of import that is coming up from this we don't need this hundred percent we don't need this either clean this up and that looks okay we can actually clean this one as well all right, so what we're going to do is first and foremost, we're going to import some of the lifecycle hooks of React. So let's go ahead and do this. So first we're going to bring in React and that will come up from obviously React. Now the hooks are being shared. Uh, these are same in the React and React Native. So they comes from the same library. The two that we are interested in first is use state. Of course, we will be maintaining the state whether our player is ready or not. And also we need use effect. Now this use effect is a hook which can be triggered to re-render the layout of the application based on some variables or something that you have or functions or at the time of very first layout is being portrayed. So two times it runs. All right. Oh, it was there already. My bad. Uh, but we can actually remove this now. Okay, this is the one thing. And another thing that we'll be needing is the service that we have created. Two things from this. So we're going to go ahead and say that I want to bring in something from the service that I created. So I need to go one directory back and it was a music player service. All right. So what we have here is there are two things. First is if you remember, we have let me just open this file. That would be easier. The first is uh, where is that uh, setup player? So setup player is the one that we'll be bringing up so that we can bring this. So I'll just say setup player. Another thing we are going to require is to add tracks. So we're going to copy this and we'll bring this one. So now we can add a track and we can set up the player as well. All right. Two things only. Now coming up here, we need to keep a track of whether the player is ready or not. So we'll do that by using the state. So we'll be saying that I want to use state. There we go. And the initial value is going to be false. Let's declare our variable and method to update this. The variable name, let's call this one as is player ready. Feel free to call it whatever you like. Set is player ready. There we go. Now this state will be responsible for repainting my UI whenever the whenever the player is ready or at the very first point of time. Now I know that in order to make sure that the player is ready, I can use this use effect. There we go. And use effect, use effect snippet. Okay. Now this is how the use effect snippet looks like. This is the portion where you write all of the methods that you want to run. And in the 
in this square bracket or the array you write the list of dependencies based on which it should re-render right now we don't have any such dependency i just want that the initial load of this screen this should actually load out so that's nice and easy now the problem is i need to create a function because in this service i do have this guy which says setup player which gives me a true and false value so based on this i can actually uh, prepare my app so let's go ahead and create a method and then we'll load this method directly into use effect you can write it here as well there is no such problem but we we'll like to keep it separate obviously this is a async function so we are going to go ahead and say that let's call this one as setup or setup player whatever you like now in this all that we are doing is first let's just say let is uh, setup and what it does it simply awaits for is uh, for the setup player and if I take you onto the file setup player, we are bringing in from here. So if I go into this file, this whole code is going to be there. And finally, at every single point, it actually returns me all of this. So this is super, super easy. There is nothing that is complex going on and all this. So no matter what happens, uh, finally, it is going to return the is setup, which will give me a true or a false value. OK, we are happy with this. Now, coming back on to the part where we are actually working on the app.js. So this is all good. OK, now we have actually ho we are holding now the value of true and false by this uh, setup layer. So let's go ahead and see what is happening based on uh, if and else. Really simple. We are checking is setup is setup. There we go. If it is true, I want to await and then add all the tracks. So I'll just say add track and there we go. Now, as soon as I run this add track, I'll again move on to this file and I'll say, hey, let's run this function. This function will run. It will add all the music into this based on the playlist data that I have provided. All right. So this is done. Now, uh, if this is all done, regardless of whether it was true, not or whatever that is, one thing I need to keep on updating is set is player ready. So whatever the value I have received in is set up, uh, I need to update that. OK, this part is done and this piece of the code I want to run at the very start of my application. So all I'll do is just go ahead and take this setup and I'll run this method. As of now, I don't have any dependency, but in case in future, if you have any dependency, you can go ahead and work, uh, work on with this one. Now, here comes the interesting part. This portion of the code is always getting rendered on the uh, app, not website, on the app. Now, let's go ahead and render conditionally. So we're going to go ahead and say if our player is not ready is player is not ready in that case i want to return uh, this piece of code and i'm going to go ahead and say that hey i'll wrap this up into safe area view and there is a default thing which is given to you by react native known as activity indicator so activity indicator there we go we are bringing this one this is a self-closing one there is nothing you can read more about it this is more like circle that keep on loading like youtube buffering so almost like that if player is not ready, then obviously we'll render this piece of code. And obviously, if the player gets ready, then we are rendering this piece of code. Right now, this piece of code is saying just the text because we haven't done anything. But this is the basic idea of how the concept works. And I hope this gives you an inner idea of how the things are there. All right. So this is the basic. Now, in the next video, we're going to try to create the uh, components of rendering the player, the seek bar and all of that, as well as the top card and all of that. So that we are going to do in the next video. I hope now you fully understand how to prepare the music service and bring it into the app. Next, what we are doing is just a fancy stuff, play, putting some buttons and putting the controls and everything. We have already designed the logic part. Now it's just the UI part. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.